Hello Mayhem Makers, I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and welcome to week eight of Summer Sampler. So we're on to the spools block and this one's a lot of fun and pretty easy. Um, we're almost to the end, it's kind of scary because that means summer's coming to an end and all those kinds of things and we're coming to an end, which is very sad, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll keep seeing you guys in the shop and post what you're, what you're making. You know, I love seeing your blocks, all the different fabrics that you do, potentially different layouts that you do. Make sure you share and you tag us uh, at Quilting Mayhem, uh, Embrace the Mayhem, Mayhem Maker, QM Summer Sampler, all those kinds of things. Um, please share with us. We love seeing it. But the spool block, they're going to look like these. Yours might be different colors. You may not have gone kind of primary colors, and that's okay. And then... They're fairly simple. So you'll have the main rectangle. You're going to have some smaller squares and background. Okay. So these small background strips, they're going to get a square on each side. Now make sure you're doing your diagonals from the outer to the inside and you're going to make them look like what I kind of call ears. So and so on that line. So that line that you draw diagonally on the wrong side of that fabric so right on it and I'll end up trimming this but they will look like this so kind of like if you were doing a cat block or a dog block they'd be cute little ears so two sets for every color need to look like this and you're going to trim them and press them so I'm gonna go do that step be right back and show you how easy it is to make this block so hold on all right ears pressed assembled ready to go so let's come over here. So you just want to make sure you lay it out. Get your ears all going the right way on your block. Okay. And then so. So what I'm going to do, fold this right sides together. I am going to pin. I highly recommend, uh, because of how these are made, at least pinning this end corner so that you make sure it all lines up nice and pretty. And then line these two corners up together as you go to your machine and then just make sure that it, all these edges are nice and straight as you sew your quarter inch. So I'm going to line this up, take it to the machine, I'll be right back. All right, so both sides are on, nice and pressed. Looks all pretty. Okay, the only thing left is lay them out and put them together. This is just so easy. Now keep in mind, you can lay them out any way you want. They don't have to be done the way I have them. You could even stack them if you wanted. If you didn't want them to do kind of a spiral, you could just stack them this way if you wanted. Um, but I liked kind of switching it up. Makes kind of a cute little pinwheel here in the center. And all you're going to do, flip right sides together and sew these together. I am going to recommend pinning that bottom corner, I'm going to call it your stop point. Pin those, match those seams, and then just make sure these start points, you're matching those up. So either pin them before you go to the machine, um, or just make sure you line them up before you go. But I'm just going to pin ahead of me since I'm doing a couple of them at the same time. So. Pinned, ready to go, just beginning and end. And as you sew, you're just going to kind of sew it. It looks gappy, but when I sew it, we're it's all gonna lay nice and flat in there, all right? So, off to the machine. All righty, so one row, two row. I mean, we're just kind of putting a four patch together. We're going to flip them right sides together, match the center seam. Match that ending seam, highly recommend, unless you're really experienced and then I know you guys don't really need it. And then make sure you're just keeping this top seam that you're starting at together as you go do that final seam. Be right back. And there we have it. Week eight spools block. I love it. Super cute. All right. If you're having any problems, as you know, reach out. Info at Quilting Mayhem. Contact us at the shop, see us at the shop, uh, you know, all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, 
TikTok, all of them. You can message out. I'll gladly help you. We can video chat or, you know, like I said, you come see us at the store. We'll gladly help kind of diagnose any problems you're having. But otherwise, hopefully you're having a lot of fun. As I said at the beginning, please make sure you're sharing because that's that's my joy. That's my happiness to see uh, what I've created turned into hopefully your joy in your project. So I hope you're having a fabulous summer and keep on stitching.